Welcome to the Mass for Inspiration. The Spirit of the Lord has filled the whole world, and that which contains all things understands what is said. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always, and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, on this day of Pentecost, let us prepare to celebrate more worthily by acknowledging our sins before God and asking his pardon. Lord Jesus, you sent the Holy Spirit to be our advocate and guide. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you sent the Holy Spirit to bring peace to a world marred by sin. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you sent the Holy Spirit to guide us to eternal life with you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the mystery of today's great feast sanctify your whole church in every people and nation, pour out, we pray, the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth, and with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed, fill now once more the hearts of believers. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time of, for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now, there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. And at this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded, and in amazement they asked, are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt, and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism. Cretans and Arabs, and yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit 
and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are great indeed. How manifold are your works, O Lord. The earth is full of your creatures. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. If you take away their breath, they perish and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord be glad in his works. Pleasing to him be my theme. I will be glad in the Lord. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, live by the spirit and you will certainly not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the flesh has desires against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. These are opposed to each other so that you may not do what you want. But if you are guided by the spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are obvious. Immorality, impurity, lust, idolatry, sorcery, hatreds, rivalry, jealousy, outbursts of fury, acts of selfishness, dissensions, factions, occasions of envy, drinking bouts, orgies, and the like. I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. In contrast, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such, there is no law. Now those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified their flesh with its passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us also follow the Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, when the Advocate comes, whom I will send you from the Father, the Spirit of truth that proceeds from the Father, he will testify to me. And you will also testify, because you have been with me from the beginning. I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the Spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears and will declare to you all the things that are coming. He will glorify me because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. For this reason I told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In our world today, we have so many promises that give us hope. Our newspapers and magazines, on the radio, TV, promises that seem so wonderful, so amazing. Nothing we long for, nothing we dream of, nothing that we desire seems to be out of reach. Be it wealth or life of ease, security, peace of mind, whatever. We have products that remove pain and suffering, make us whole and healthy and beautiful, even youthful. Products that amaze us will cut our lawn for us just by pressing a button. Automobiles that will park themselves 
see things that we don't see, stop themselves, preventing accidents, promises, 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 and guarantees, guarantees, and guarantees. But how many really work? How many really deliver what they promise? We spend so much of our energy hoping. We spend so much of our hard-earned money to purchase so many products that we end up simply throwing away when disappointment. And in spite of all these wonderful promises and products, we still live with our suffering and our pain, our disappointments, our failures. And we pray to God. Maybe at some times we may be tempted to wonder if even God's word is not true, if God is failing us. But wait, does God really fail us? Impossible. Maybe, maybe the problem is with us. Maybe we're the ones that are missing something. Last week, we prepared for the feast that we celebrate today of Pentecost. And we sat at the table with Jesus the night before he died and with his apostles and disciples, and we heard him praying, praying out loud to his Father. And he prayed for his beloved disciples, his apostles, his followers. He was praying for you and for me. And he prayed not that God would remove evil from our world or from us, but he prayed that, like himself, we experience pain and suffering, loneliness, abandonment, his passion, even death itself. He prayed that we, like himself, would be able to endure, overcome these things, and be glorified as he was glorified. How, you ask? Today's celebration of Pentecost gives us the answer. Jesus promised to be with us. Jesus promised to send the Holy Spirit. And Jesus fulfilled his promise. Jesus kept his word. On Pentecost, we've just read, God the Holy Spirit came to earth. God the Holy Spirit filled Jesus' disciples in Jerusalem with his presence and bestowed upon them his seven gifts, gifts that were real, gifts that are genuine, gifts that are true, simply because they're gifts of God. Gifts that conferred power, strength, enablement. We now have those gifts in confirmation. We know how to recognize God and acknowledge God. We know how to understand the meaning of what God asks of us. We have the help we need in order to make right decisions and right judgments. We have the ability to discern why God is asking of us what he does, what he sometimes asks. We have the gift of courage not to be afraid, the gift of being able to stand in awe and wonder of God. Sometimes something the world has little of today, we are filled with a reverence for God. It's with these gifts that we too are able to endure, to overcome, and to conquer all the challenges of life. Once we recognize them, once we respond to them, once we open our hearts and our minds to the Holy Spirit, once we bend our stubborn selves and our selfish wills to obey the will of God, then we will have conquered with Christ. Then we will begin to overcome the works of the flesh, which St. Paul speaks of today, works which are the root of and the cause of so much of our suffering in the world. Paul tells us if we're guided by the Spirit, we can conquer these works, the immorality, the impurity, the lust, the idolatry, the sorcery, the hatreds, the rivalries, the jealousies, outbursts of fury, acts of selfishness, dissensions, factions, occasions of envy, drinking bouts, orgies, addictions, and the like. 
Once we make up our minds, with God's help, to conquer these, to give them up, Paul assures us today that we can truly belong to Christ. But conquer them, we must. And conquer them, we can, if we're open to doing God's will and allow the Holy Spirit to help us. It's then and only then that we will begin to experience what we really long for, the fruits of the Spirit, love and joy and peace, patience and kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. This was Christ's prayer for us. This is Christ's promise to us. This is Christ's guarantee. And it can come true for us, but only if we open our hearts, allow Christ in, and allow it to happen. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who, with the Father and the Son, is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. United in the Holy Spirit, let us come before our Heavenly Father and ask for his help in our need. That the faithful may be united and filled with the Holy Spirit, so the presence of Christ may be proclaimed and experienced in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christians may recognize their God-given gifts and generously share them for the good of the church and society. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that where there is division and violence, mutual respect and forgiveness may bring about peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that in this parish we may have a bold and passionate faith in the Lord that is clearly heard in our voices and seen in our actions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that those who have died may live with God forever in heaven let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, accept our worship of praise and thanksgiving and receive our prayers of petition. Hear and answer them in the name of Jesus, the Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
and pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord receive this sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good, the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us to all truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for bringing your paschal mystery to completion. You bestowed, on the, whole, you bestowed the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same Spirit, as the church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of the one faith. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are holy indeed, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Most make therefore holy these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Benedict our Pope, and Joseph our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and with the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. <coughs> Lord Jesus Christ, you said, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us share with each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and they spoke of the marvels of God. Hallelujah. pray. O God, who bestow heavenly gifts upon your church, safeguard, we pray, the grace you have given us, that the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its force, and that this spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us now go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Amen.